box in high rise earmarked for demolition claims to sit on the Nairobi Dam's reserve land will meet with the National Environment Management on Monday. Owners of units at the CIFA apartments held a meeting this afternoon where documents provided show that Edelman Property Limited, which put up the apartments, had met all the requirements. Our senior reporter Rita Tanina reports on the dilemma of tenants and homeowners of the CIFA Tower apartments. Sunday afternoon at the CIFA apartments in high-rise Nairobi. It is one of those favorite days for children, a day when playtime is cut short by sunset. They play oblivious of the dilemma facing their parents. Just a few paces away, their parents and other homeowners who do not live here meet over this morning. A notice by the National Environment Management Authority and the Water Resources Management Authority which threatens to shatter their dreams of owning a home in just 14 days. The three apartment blocks have been earmarked for demolition on grounds that they have been put up on the Nairobi Dam's Riparian Reserve. A written notice is addressed to Edelman Property Limited, the firm that put up the apartments which have now been bought by individuals. Edelman who only happens to own a single unit. So uh, uh, part of the confusion is... Does it mean all of us should wait for notice? A letter we have obtained indicates that the Water Resources Management Authority gave a clean bill on the location of the apartment block. In 2015, the embankment of the Nairobi Dam was earmarked for repair and Rama gave the same assessment it did before the construction of the apartments in 2012. A letter signed by Samson Oiro and dated the 17th of April 2015 reads in part. The authority pegged and marked out the riparian land bordering Sifa apartments in July 2011 at 22 meters from the highest watermark from the dam and 15 meters from the highest watermark from Gong River respectively in accordance with the Water Act 2007 and the Water Resources Management Rules 2007. The marked riparian area was observed, states the letter. In 2011, the National Environment Management Authority issued an environmental impact assessment license to Edelman Property Limited. There are 288 units here, housing more than 1,000 people. And by the time the 14-day notice expires, some of the candidates living here will be sitting their national exams. You cannot say that these people, including children who are going to school, that tomorrow we start looking for new schools. I don't think it's practical. It's not even fair. NEMA, in its notice, directed the management of Edelman property to present themselves to the office of the Deputy Director of Enforcement at the NEMA headquarters on Monday, a firm that is no longer the owner of 287 units. And some other people do not even know who Edelman is. The only time they see the name Edelman is when they pay, uh, when they buy electricity tokens and it indi ind indicates Edelman properties. And it is families here, some who are still servicing loans, who are set to suffer. The question is, if NEMA and WAMA issued licenses, what has changed between now and when the go-ahead was given? If it was not given, where were the authorities and the enforcement departments as the construction went on and as dozens of families invested their life savings here? These apartments were even sanctioned by the then housing minister Soita Shitanda in December 2012. I want to assure you that we are going after all those who issued those permits, those ones who will be prosecuted. If they prove that we actually sit on a land that needs to be reserved, then they should compensate because how did they give the approval? Owning a home is a dream of many Kenyans. For the owners of 287 units here, that dream is about to be shattered. Rita Tinina, KTN News. Uh, now, maize farmers still owed by the National Cereals and Produce Board will be paid within a month. Deputy President William Ruto has said...